Good afternoon friends and welcome to today's vlog. The grand reveal of our car. We are at the dealer right now. You may be able to tell what car it is already or what type of car it is already. But we have a videographer, we have a sick edit in three, two, Hope you guys like that edit. I'm going to tag him in the description below because that was absolutely sick. Check his Instagram out. If you guys did like that edit, hit that thumbs up button. And if you are enjoying it, hit the subscribe button as well. Sorry if you find it hard to hear me right now. We have to wear masks indoors again. Shout out. But we're about to go through the new car in detail now with the dealer. See you all. So as I guess whenever you do get a new car, the dealer runs you through all the features of the car, which we're going through now with shout out Lee. I don't know where he's gone. There he is. Shout out Lee. <laughs> he's been awesome actually. Uh, here at Essen and BMW if you guys want to check him out. So we're just running through the features of the car now. It's really sick. Hope you guys like the black. We love the black. This is it. First drive out of the dealer. I wish you guys had like a smell vision through the camera. Maybe one day that'll come. We're in. So we got like the M Sports one. So it has like some upgraded things like the panoramic sunroof, which is sick. We haven't tuned it yet, so. We're gonna get copyright for that on YouTube now, so it's like cool feature of the car, 3D. Look at that. Bird's eye view. Wish we had this on the plane, so that'd actually be very handy. 3D view. Look at this. How the heck does it do that? That's actually where we are right now. Except our car's black. Yeah. That's a HUD, by the way. Would you guys, I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a HUD right there. Like, like the airplane, you know. So this is the new car. Small things, man. Now we have decided, of course, the only way to celebrate getting our new car is to head out for dinner. So we're going to one of our favorite Italian, of course Italian, restaurants in Melbourne. Let's go celebrate. So where we have come for dinner, it's called Class, it's called Class E90. We have both got pizza, we started with limoncello, and it's like full of any Italian. They like, they talk in Italian, and like this Italian radio station on, it's full Italian, the menus are full Italian, the names of pizzas and stuff is in Italian obviously, it's an English description, but we work for pizzas, start limoncello. So my pizza has truffle paste, pork sausage, mushrooms, and ricotta. Eggplant, cheese, tomato, mushrooms, deliciousness. Yeah, this is our little way of celebrating, getting a brand new car. And of course we have to finish with a dessert, crema de cafe. This is the first time seeing it at night. It has lights on the side, which is meant to be like a carpet welcoming you into the car. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Hey guys, so Nick is on his way to get a COVID test. Hope you guys have been enjoying the car reveal vlog. We've been driving for about a week now and we absolutely love it. So my favorite feature is having the panoramic sunroof. Do you have a favorite feature? When you can just kick the boot open with your foot and it opens for you. And same when you want to close it, you just kick your foot under and it closes. You don't actually kick the boot, we'll show you what we mean. 
But a bit of a life update on what's going on right now, because obviously we are driving, which is Captain Obvious. As you guys know, I've been working or flying the last two weeks, and I'm actually stood down for two weeks, but because of me flying out of Melbourne Airport, the terminal that I fly out of as of today has been declared a COVID hotspot, which means I now have to go get tested, which I'm on my way to get tested right now. And regardless of my result, even if I'm negative, I then have to isolate for 14 days. Still waiting for confirmation whether I have to isolate for 14 days from today or 14 days from the time that I was in terminal when this exposure window was. We're also still waiting for confirmation on what the situation is with them. Obviously, we live together in the same house, whether M has to I said or not. Logically, you would think yes, right? Still waiting for confirmation on that. Um, but yeah, here we go. COVID test coming up. Can't wait. So you have to isolate yourself for 14 days. Right. So 14 days from day of exposure. Okay. You also need another test like this on day 11. So you need to come back and get tested on day 11. Right. That is the test complete. As you guys, well, I didn't get the actual test happening. But yeah, I have to isolate for 14 days from the day the actual exposure was. But I do have to go back on the 11th day and get a test on the 11th day. Anyway, that's what's happening. Uh, a little bit of an update with what's going on right now. Obviously flying, that's not happening. And M did have to get a test as well because I'm like the close contact, but M's like a secondary contact, obviously, with me. So she had to get a test. So, yeah. I have some news to share. I got my COVID-19 test result back and the virus was not detected. Sorry, I had to make that a bit more dramatic than it obviously needed to be. So yes, I am negative and so is M. We are both negative. We are results back pretty quick actually, which is good, but we still have to isolate for 14 days. It's just the rules here in um, Australia. I'm sure it's obviously a bit different around the world. I'm sure each country has their own different rules around what to do, obviously, with COVID tests and everything like that. We have about another week here in isolation, um, so we can't leave the house, um, obviously, or anything like that. So that is where we're gonna be for the next week. But yeah, I have to go get retested on the 11th day, which is, yeah, in a few days time. I'm feeling absolutely fine. Don't feel any symptoms or anything like that. And actually here in Melbourne, we've gone to a five day local lockdown, well, statewide lockdown for five days. They're calling it like a circuit breaker to stop the spread getting out of control. Everyone's kind of locked down for five days anyway. Obviously we are gonna be locked down, isolated for longer than everyone else. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Had Valentine's Day in isolation, just like everyone else here in Victoria and a lot of places right around the world as well. So I hope you guys are all keeping well and keeping safe. I know it's, uh, it's pretty crazy in some parts of the world right now. So we are pretty lucky overall what's going on here in Melbourne, but hope you guys have enjoyed this car reveal video. As you can see, it is right behind me right now. We are still undecided. I thought 100% for sure I wanted to get the rims blacked out, but I don't know, it's got like this two-tone, you might not be able to really see it too well. It's got like this two-tone silver and then like a shadow gray on it. I think it's actually pretty cool. Me and Em both actually really like that. So yeah, we're just waiting to see what we want to do, whether we want to black it out or not. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below on what you guys think, if we should black it out or not. This as well, right there. The M Sports logo there is still chrome. Still on the side whether to black that out or not as well. We're just enjoying it, or we were enjoying trying and driving it, obviously, and everything like that. So, lucky got the edit done and filmed before lockdown happened. So, shout out again to Tommy for that. I'm sure we're gonna be doing some more work together. So, if you guys did like that edit, hit that thumbs up button because, yeah, that was sick. So, keep an eye out, obviously, on the channel for those. <laughs> but if you guys haven't, make sure that subscribe button. You'll be first to be notified whenever a new video does come out. And if you aren't already, you can follow me on Instagram at Nick Priest and keep more up to date, obviously, with what's going on and stories like that every day rather than me having to film and then edit. And then there's obviously a delay in what's actually happening in the video to when it goes live. But anyway, I am rambling. Hope you guys are all keeping well and keeping safe wherever you are in the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate the support and coming on this journey with us and we'll see you guys next video.